Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome to another part of Let's Play Mother 3. As you can see, I, recently, I just finished a battle in which the enemy left me a present, because thanks to a reminder from the YouTuber Top One Zelda Fan, I, re I remembered that the squawking sticks can drop a good item, and I recently beat one, well, just now, and he left a present, and inside the present, there was a good stick, which is a weapon that you can use that is quite a bit better than the one you were using before. So, you may notice 15, 27. That's quite the bump. So, that having been done, I'm gonna go ahead and save, because that was a pretty big thing. And that actually happened on the first one that I fought, so that was pretty special. Now, let's go. Item guy, don't care about you. Now, let's see. This leads to Club Tidibu. I don't have any tickets, and I can't ride. Now, there are paths to the left and right that we could theoretically take. But, one of them is basically impassable, and the other has really hard enemies. So we're just gonna bypass that, and free back attack. I don't know if these guys... Wow, these are pretty... Tough. Eleven. Wow. Actually, now that I've gotten the front and back sprites, I might as well run. So there we go, now I've got another front and back sprite. Well... I remember someone said something about employees being able to go to Club TD Boo. Yeah, so... Let's see if we can get a job. What am I doing here? I do want to go to Club TD Boo. So, I basically have to get a job here. Am I up for some part-time work? Sure. I have to transport Clayman. Well, we've seen Clayman before. Find a bunch of Clayman in the area below. Some of them will be almost out of energy, so we have to bring them back up one at a time. Once I brought up three, I'm done. He's going to give me a sketch of the factory, which is handy. Um, let's see. Sign my name on the document. Yeah, this is their way of making you input the player name. And, you know, break the fourth wall. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna go with it. And, if there's one thing I know about working, it's that you're looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Gold in your mouth, hat turned sideways, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Some of you will get it, I'm sure. And some of you won't. Aw, poor Boney. We can't work together, but Boney is going to be put to use. And it's almost cruel, but you know. Aw, oh, wow, these are exhausted claymen. Alright, and here's Boney. But he's getting some exercise, which is good. And I can instantly revitalize myself. I don't think I need to, but it's certainly worth doing, I would guess. So. We're fully revitalized, and we're not looking like a fool with our pants on the ground. Okay, now. Let's see, then. This is where we need to take the claymen who are exhausted. Yeah, he is fine. You'll know when you find an exhausted clayman. So, we're just gonna keep going through here. And if we go down here, all of the claymen have perfectly fine energy levels. This is a tired clayman, and it's also the last room in here, I think. So, of course, only one clayman's gonna be tired at a time. Uh-oh, you broke the clay, man. You just broke the internets. Well, we're gonna go up and move and push this guy around. As you can see, you move a bit slow when you're transporting clay men, but it is a necessary evil. And there's no way we'll finish this in this part. I may have to speed this up. 
Wouldn't that suck? Let's see if we can get him on there first before we start pushing him. Alright, yeah, this is pretty time consuming. So just keep that in mind. It's certainly not a quick action. Can you get in there? Yes, I've brought a clay man. I feel so proud of myself. Actually, we should be fine for this part. That's taken me about two minutes. The rest won't take as long. So now we ride up with it. Wee! Hi, Boney. Bye, Boney. We've got more important things to do. Well, not really. I don't really know what this accomplishes, but... We'll do it anyway, just because we need to get into that club. Because they seem to think they've found Duster there. I mean, I'm willing to go check it out, but I really think they're kind of skeptical. I mean, he hasn't been seen in three years. He's quite obviously dead. I mean, it's plain to see. And here we go. Clayman, good as new. He's even dancing and running. Alright, there's three Clayman in total. So two left to go. And I will hopefully finish this before the time limit. See, this guy is quick and painless. He won't take long at all. He just goes right there. And calls down the elevator. And away we go. Off to Never Never Land. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't Never Never Land, it's the factory. The Frantic Factory. Oh, jeez, please don't bring back those memories. Actually, I like Frantic Factory. And as long as we're on the topic of DK64, I don't really hate Gloomy Galleon all that much either. It's not as bad as I remember it being. Fungi Forest is a lot better than I remember it being so far from what I've recorded already. And, um, the next level, I think is Crystal Caves. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that one. But whatever. So as you can see, he's fine now. We've got to get running. Because I think the next tired clay man is in here, and he's kind of in a bit of a tricky spot to get him out of. Yeah, and you can't run with him, so don't even try it. So, I really don't know what to say, we're just moving along, pushing Clayman, but at least we're not pushing up daisies. I feel like I did not, that didn't actually come out sounding anything like what it was. Pushing up daisies, as I <coughs> intended to say, if that's not how it came out, I just feel like I pronounced that weird. Why am I talking about my pronunciations of things that are pretty irrelevant in life? I have no idea. I can't really fathom it, to be honest with you. But we're only nine minutes in, so we made good time here. I don't even have to speed up the video. As much as I'd like to, it's just a bit of a hassle to speed up parts of it without completely ruining the audio quality. It can be done, I suppose, but why? Why would I want to do that? So, off we go, get in there. And we get to collect our pay, too. And we get happy music, and we finished our part-time job. Hooray! Give me my money, fool. Where's my money, man? I got a ticket! And 200 DP. That's nothing to laugh at. And you can work as many times here as you want if you need to save up money. And we are going to save the game. Sure. Go ahead and save. And it's now nighttime. So, 
run up here. Huzzah! And in the next part, we're going to go. We're going to take the ropeway up to Club TD Boo. But until then, I'm Homestar92, and I will see you guys later. And please, don't be looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. It's, it would be for the betterment of humanity if you just avoided that. See you later.